Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandibar.com. Welcome to today's video. Dandelion every day. Dandelion cures all in, you know, in parentheses. Does it really, does it really do, what does it do to your body in order to help us improve, for example, a fatty liver, absorb or stop the absorption of fats, improve, improve our kidney function with a diuretic effect? All of these benefits in today's video. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share. Don't forget that we are live. If you have a question, leave your comment down below and I'll be happy to assist you. And I'm going to show you new studies, actual, uh, actual studies and benefits of dandelion that, by the way, are not well known, that are very common, and that people should be thinking about using if they're having problems with many of the conditions I'm going to mention in this video. So don't forget to give this video a like button and don't forget that ask the question you might want to ask today. So first of all, what is dandelion? Well, dandelion is a herb. It's a shrub more than a herb, right? It's a shrub found very commonly in southern in the southern United States and also parts of Mexico and Central America. Very common this plant. It's the same one that has a um it has let's say like lion's teeth all around these uh, its leaves and has a very par uh, particular and peculiar uh, flower and seed or seedlings that you can blow in the wind. Remember those those movies when you see it blow in the wind? Well, that's the exact dandelion uh, plant trying to have those seeds disseminate in all the areas it can. But what does it do for your body? How does it work? What parts can you use? Well, you can use its leaves or you can use its roots very helpful and the first the first one the first thing that i like to use dandelion for is the effect of having a neuroprotective effect an anti-anxiety effect on the body i don't know if you've ever taken dandelion if you haven't i really suggest you do because you might see many benefits that have to do with nerve protection now, that neuroprotective effect of dandelion also has an anti-anxiety and also anti-stress effect if you want to go to bed at night and stop, you know, stop thinking about the million problems we have every day, dandelion might be the answer. It really does help and really does help to prevent those neurodegenerative diseases that you might see every day. Not every day, but if you if you if you don't take take care of your nerves. If you need something natural that might help you that has a dandelion extract and and also the plant itself to help you improve in many ways, look for dandelion from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. All right, let me see this question real quick and we'll keep on going. <clears throat> uh, by the way, if, if, uh, if you've never taken dandelion, it, it might be something very helpful also for losing weight. And I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Najab Maskab is asking, is it effective for sugar patients? Not really. No, it doesn't really have a strong effect on the control of sugar, but it does reduce cortisol levels, which indirectly, if you want, will not help you raise sugar levels. And that's something nice to consider because if you don't, if you're not, if you're, if you're overstressed out, sugar is also going to shoot up and you're, you're, you're not going to know why because you're probably doing everything you have to, but you're stressed out, right? So sugar just shoots, shoots to the sky. Number two, antidepressive effect of dandelion. Yes, not many people know this, but it really does have a very positive effect on mood and your nerve function. It has an antidepressive effect, and that's not the most impressive um, benefit yet. Wait for a minute, okay? Like to the video. If you need something natural that might improve or help you, help you improve your mood and stay healthy, look for Oxy Elixir in capsule form might want to look for antioxyperol also that contains amla. But oxy elixir in capsule form from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com really, really lifts your mood up and helps you stay healthy. Also, lion's roar can also lift your mood up. Number three, dandelion is a specially nice herb to take if you want something as a diuretic. It has been traditionally used as a diuretic for centuries, okay? And not many people know that dandelion has a protective effect on kidneys, but also on our digestive system. If you take dandelion, you're going to see a diuretic effect and a protective effect on the kidneys, okay? Also, 
the bile, uh, bile, the gallbladder, the, the liver, and we'll get into that in a minute. Like to this video. Let me see this question, this question and we'll keep on going. <clears throat> Joseph is, ask, is asking, can I consume it with gastritis? No problem at all. No problem. You, you're you're going to see, actually you're going to see an improvement with gastritis, all right? Number four, number five, dandelion is also specially helpful with a fatty liver, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Yes. What this plant does is actually uh, prevent the absorption, let's say, let's call it that way, prevent the absorption of fat that you might be having in your digestive system and that will get absorbed if there's not something that will prevent this. Dandelion will do this. And it significantly suppresses lipid accumulation in the liver uh, and has been seen as a very positive and very important protector or herb that can protect the liver in many pathways or many ways, okay? It has been seen uh, very have been, has been seen very useful in treatment of obesity related non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And that's what I'm mentioning. It prevents the absorption of fat in your intestines. Like to the video. Question. Question will click and we'll keep on we'll keep on going. The last the, the last benefit, wait for the last one. Very, very nice. Mahoma Manjuri is asking, does it what does it do for inflammation? Well, it has that diuretic effect. It prevents the inflammation of your colon, your digestive system. Right, right on the one that I'm going to I'm going to mention right now. The potential of dandelion in the fight against gastrointestinal diseases, many, many of them, not one, not two, but many. Okay. Results. Conclusion. This review reveals some of the in vitro, in vitro, and in vivo studies of potential of dandelion derived from products as a complementary and alternative medicine therapeutics. Okay. What does it do? Well, I had this highlighted. I don't know where it went away. Where, there you go. Okay. Mainly including dyspepsia, gastroesophageal reflux, gastritis, small intestinal ulcers also, right? Uh, ulcerative colitis, liver diseases, gallstones, acute pancreatitis, and GI malignancy. I mean, what more do you, what more do you want? There's so many benefits with your digestive system. And also that diuretic effect I just mentioned, that dandelion just makes a spectacular supplement. Okay, now if you want something more specific, you want you might want to look for something specific, like for example, ulcers or something that destroys um, parasites. Dandelion is not gonna help you with that, okay? If you need something natural for that, look for ulcerade, maybe ulcers in your stomach, something for uh, to chase out that pylo, that H, H. pylori, look for pylo chase in your, in, in, at finelandvitamins.com or Paraflush Plus from Fineland also that might help you out, flush out those parasites and do that parasite, parasite plants. Guys, like the video, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget that we are live. Don't forget to leave your question. If, you, if you're watching this video later on, leave your comment, leave your question, I'll be happy to assist you. I'll see you guys tomorrow and God bless you all. Take care.